Hello, it's Naomi. Want to know how to make a U-part wig? Well, keep on watching. The hair, of course, is from omiversionhair.com. Here's some tools you're going to need. First, you're going to need a wig stand, a mannequin head, of course. You will also need some thread. I love to use nylon thread. Also going to need a dome cap. Make sure you get a dome cap, a spandex dome cap. They all look a lot alike, so be careful. I like to stuff my mannequin with a plastic bag or just some elastic band, anything to make sure that it's tight around the wig stand. What you see me doing right now is applying T-pins. The T-pins are going to make sure the cap does not slip off of the mannequin head while I work. So right now I'm just attaching the hair and the needle to one another. And I'm going to start with my first stitch pretty soon. I like to make sure I get it as close to the bottom of the cap as possible. Please make sure you do not, I repeat, do not sew through the elastic. If you sew through the elastic, which is around the dome cap, you're going to bunch up the dome cap itself and it's not going to look really pretty. It's not going to be a nice look, okay? I mean when I say it's not gonna look pretty when you go to sew it down in your head it's gonna be bunched up and who wants that so I'm just taking my time with the first few stitches making sure they're tight and secure I'm just going to make sure I securely knot the hair on the other end. Security is very important. It's very important that you have your track secure because you do not want to put this on your head and then brush through your hair and have it just fall out. That would suck and be embarrassing. Just going to continue doing this for quite a while.
I like to make sure that I bring the long pieces of hair, the 18 inches, the hair that's all the way in the back. I make sure I put a piece of it, or three or four, on the side of the head as well, so that I don't end up with a layered look. If I want it layered, I just cut it myself. So we're almost done and it's really important for me that my U is not too wide or too long so I put my closure on the head and I measured it out so what you see is the T pins kind of creating the space where my closure is actually going to occupy so I just make sure I mark it and I will not sew any hair in that space and when I go to install this on my head I don't have to worry about wondering if my closure is going to be too big or be taking up too much space. No, I know it's going to be perfect because I already measured it. I install my U-parts by sewing them down. Normally I leave my real hair out um, to blend, but I don't want to this time. I'm going to apply a closure and if you guys want to see that video, make sure you like this one. Just keep sewing, just keep sewing, just keep sewing. I'm going for that U that's smaller. I'm gonna have to pull back my track a little bit as you guys just saw me do. And I'm gonna make sure that in the back, I kind of push it up a little further than I do on the side. So here comes the fun part. I want to get rid of the dome cap that is in the front of the head, so I'm going to cut it away. Bye-bye, dome cap. Bye-bye, you go. 
so we're just gonna make sure we cut all that away um keep in mind that you don't want to cut the strings because if you do it's gonna come apart um even though i know i didn't cut any of the strings while i was doing this i still went back and i reinforced so i'm gonna sew all around the u part itself just the the actual opening that's exactly what i'm doing here you sew through the track and the cap thank you so much for watching in my next video, I will show you guys how to dye virgin hair. Be sure to like and subscribe.